Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today it's another Tales of 69 Mid Speed Paint. This was day 8, originally recorded on um, June 15, 2015. So, yes, it is an old recording again, and since it was day 8, um, alright, the theme was rod user, so this could be well, a rod, a wand, something like that. The problem was I didn't really know who the rod users were in the Tales of Franchise since I haven't really played all the games. And now that I think about it, Kohaku Hearts or Amber Hearts from Tales of Hearts uh, are, is, a, is a rod user, but I didn't think of her at the time. So I ended up going through the wiki and luckily the first game, Tales of Fantasia, was the first thing I clicked on and mint I saw mint when I checked her weapon what she uses as her weapon luckily it was a rod so I get to draw an older character and a rod user and I think if you've watched one of my older um Tales of 69 streams especially the eternal ones I mentioned that I wanted to draw the older characters mainly because a lot of people will likely be doing the newer characters like Jude and but like the ones from Celia, um, Vesperia, Abyss even. So I wanted to draw someone from the really old school games just for fun. So Mint is your typical healer in the RPG. Yeah, even her outfits, even her outfit screams healer. <laughs> but hey, I, I admittedly I like her design, even though the nurse hat nowadays seems a little bit overdone. But her outfit's very simple, it's streamlined, and I kind of like it to be honest. So since this, this was day 8, and the day before this, day 7, was the High Ogi one, wherein I drew guys still doing Brilliant Overlord. And if you saw the video for that one, you would know that it was a very dynamic piece for me at the time. At the time, it was the most in-depth, put-together, well-composed picture I've done in a long, long while. And the I guess you could see the excitement and the hype of how that turned out still carried over the next day so I wanted to draw Mint in a very dynamic action-y pose and not just a standing pose or a sitting pose so I wanted her to have a lot of motion in her and I wanted to make use of highlights and shadows again so that's what I tried to do here the difference is is that guy's outfit his not his normal outfit is a very color it's an orangey brown uh, color scheme, so there's a lot of um, colors you can play with, but with mint, it's a blonde and white color scheme, a yellow, white, and a little bit of pink, purple in it. So you can't really use a, a lot of highlights, so you have to rely a bit on shadows to get things working. At the time, I didn't know how to use uh, ambient lighting yet, so hmm. But I tried my best. I really tried to use the highlights a lot and I really tried to darken the shadows enough so that it would bring out what I intended to do. Also, I apologize if you could hear the raining in the background. It's been raining quite a lot for the past few days over here and I wanted to record the voiceover for this because if I, I don't know when the rain will not come along so I might as well. So just please forgive me. I know audio quality isn't the best and the rain isn't helping but yeah please listen to the music instead.
I can say this the piece where I really started not relying on lines too much to get shadows or folds and pieces defined in a picture. Even though my shadowing and coloring style is still very soft and blended out here, I started to learn how important sharp shadows or something like that are important. So slowly, slowly, my style changed according to what I witnessed or um, learned while doing this challenge. And since it was a daily challenge, I progressed faster than I would if I just draw normally. So I guess that's where the importance of drawing daily actually comes in. Even though it doesn't look like you're doing a lot, when you look back at it like this, I have a video recording and I realized that this is where I started taking shadows more seriously, I think. So I guess they say, I know drawing every day is hard. Even I don't like doing it. And it's a requirement for my class, I kind of cheated and I would compile and just kind of, I would either draw in advance for a few days or I would cram everything on one day before I had to submit my journal. So, it, it, it's not something that's really easy to do, especially when you don't want to draw that day and all that and you're kind of forced to. But I could see why a lot of people and why art classes recommend doing it. Because when you're not doing it, or even when you're doing it, you're like, I don't know why I'm doing this, it's a waste of time. And it was, I was lucky that the Tales of 69 Mitch challenge was a fun thing for me to do. And it was something I did force myself to try to do every day until my schedule no longer permitted it. And now that I'm looking back at it, I could see why they would say that drawing every day is important. Now that I'm managing a YouTube channel, or trying to, it's it's tiny and bold, but now that I do have a YouTube channel and I'm, I have to put content out, or I'm trying to force myself to put content out, I actually have been drawing more and in a more consistent manner as well. It's also making me try out new materials, it's making me participate, participate in challenges I usually wouldn't have. Hmm. What I'm trying to say is, social media is powerful. <laughs> like, there's this sense of responsibility that you have when you post it online. But hey, it's all fun. If it wasn't fun, it would have stopped a long time ago. But we're nearing the end of the video, we're just doing the background now, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe like or subscribe if you enjoy speed paints and stuff like that. My channel does a lot of traditional and digital art, and a lot of fan art, character designing, stuff like that. And maybe follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, or DeviantArt, maybe all three if you'd like. And I'll see you around.